Hi everyone, Jake here. Today is extra exciting because we finally get to see if the bacteria that we've worked so hard to isolate and identify produce any antibiotics. To do this, we're going to be doing something called a bioassay. And this involves growing our Streptomyces strains in the presence of other microbes to see if it can inhibit their growth or kill them. First, we're going to need to pour some agar jelly into some plates. Now these plates are much smaller than the plates we've been using because we're going to be using a lot of them. So, next we're going to place a small drop of our bacteria onto our plate. Now we need to incubate the plate for three days. Here's one that I prepared earlier. For the next step, we need to add a special mixture of agar jelly with another type of microbe. We call this type of microbe our indicator strain. We want to see if the indicator strain is inhibited at all by the soil bacteria that we've isolated. Now the interesting thing about Streptomyces is that the top part of the colony repels water. So we can pour this jelly around the outside of the colony without actually covering it. After incubating our bioassays for 24 hours, it's time to see if any antimicrobial compounds are being produced. In this instance, we can see a clear zone of inhibition. This means that our bacteria are likely producing compounds that are preventing the indicator strain from growing.